What is up guys? Welcome to a brand new video. On the last video, you see that I went ahead and upgraded my cooling by upgrading my radiator from the stock to the Mishimoto aluminum radiator. Now my original plans were to test the radiator out on track, see where the improvements were, and then see where I was gonna go with it from there. Naturally, I didn't even need an upgraded radiator. My cooling temps were good, but we're working on trying to keep our oil temps down now. The radiator is not gonna provide too much benefit there, but I do have something that will, and that's gonna be the Track Spec Motorsports hood vents. I'm gonna cut my hood up to put these vents in there and by design, release some of the heat from the engine out of the, out of the hood and hopefully keep those engine oil temps a little bit lower. I am now running a 50 weight oil in this car, which naturally the higher the, the viscosity of the oil, the more heat it produces and the hotter it gets. So we wanna try to counterbalance that with these new vents. So we're gonna jump into it, cut this hood up, and pray we don't screw up. Let's get it. Before we jump into the actual cutting, let's take a look at what pieces I bought and where we're gonna mount them. What I have here is the three, uh, I guess you could call them a louver setup, right? Now you do have the option of just buying the center louver, you do have the option of buying the three piece kit, and you also have louvers for the fenders that you can also purchase as well. I'm just going with the three louver kit. Now, um, there's two different ways I've seen people set it up on their Corvettes. This is obviously the large centerpiece, right? And then you have the guys that will run them pretty much directionally the same. Um, and then you have the guys that kind of run them staggered. And that's the look that I'm going for on the car. And then the last bit is the wicker, right? This is the wicker bell. It sits right here at the very bottom. This has proven to increase the airflow quite substantially. I don't remember the percentage off top hand, so I'll add that in the description below so you can factor that in in your decision making. I will say 90% of the Corvettes I see running are running it without the wicker. Aesthetically, it looks far better this way, but I did notice that this is held up by standard bolts while this is actually riveted onto the hood. So what I do plan to do is potentially just run the wicker for track purposes and then aesthetically, when the car is out on the road, it'll probably just be this setup. For today, I'm just gonna install this part. I'm not really gonna worry about this just yet. Um, so we'll run these and they do come with instructions, right? So follow the instructions, you know, front and back. Obviously mine was printed very poorly, but the font is still legible. It's just my camera's a bit overexposed. And follow the instructions and measure twice, cut once, right? Because there is no going back um, when you make these cuts on the hood. One thing to note is you're really only cutting for this area here. So don't be over hard on yourself because this area, this outer bezel will cover your crappy cuts, AKA my crappy cuts. But at the same time, you still wanna be careful. You still wanna be patient um, and uh, cut with the right gear. I'm gonna use a Ryobi Dremel. You can see it right here. I am gonna use this. Originally, I was gonna use a far more aggressive cutting wheel, like an angle grinder and put the right blade on it. But given my lack of ability to cut things properly, I fear that I might screw up the hood quicker. So I want something with a little less rotational speed, a little less power um, to kind of ensure that I don't get um, too cocky with it and screw up my hood in a bad place. So that's what I bought. Got some cutting blades down here somewhere that I'll be using to cut the actual hood open. But first, let's go mock up the hood. So there are a couple things I'm gonna use to make sure that this job gets done correctly and safely. One of them is I'm gonna line my engine with this moving blanket. So basically I'm gonna lift the hood, cover the engine with the moving blanket, kind of stretch it out to cover the fenders a bit and cover that side. I don't want none of the fiberglass dust to fall through onto the motor. Um, it is fiberglass, so you want to make sure that you protect yourself. I'm wearing pants. I'm going to put on long sleeves, and I am going to wear gloves. Um, I, if you have protective eyewear, definitely wear it. Um, and obviously masking tape, you know, to mask the areas. I'm going to measure the center of the hood, mask that up. And I also still have the insulation, the factory insulation on the hood. I know a lot of you Corvette guys buy those with the beautiful Corvette logos on them. If you are running these hood vents, you will not be able to keep your pretty hood insulation. So choose one or the other. You're either gonna run hood vents or a very pretty hood insulation when you lift your hood open. So I'm gonna rip mine off, my factory one, put the, uh, 
put the moving blanket on and get ready with a long sleeve to start marking up and getting ready to cut. So I've cut out a lot of the fat of basically what I've been doing. I've honestly mocked this hood up like four or five times, added a ton of masking tape, removed the masking tape, done a couple different things. The main goal is you want to find the center line of the hood. And then, I think I cracked my screen. But, you know, you want to find the center line of the hood. And I, obviously this hood is not square. So you got to get different points so you can draw your proper line. So I made a point at the lowest point, at the center of the hood, and arguably a bit higher when the hood gets wider so I can draw a perfect line down the middle. And it seems to be lining up exactly with the emblem, so I feel pretty comfortable about it. Um, there are two little dots on the tape, I mean on the template, that you want to align that black line you've drawn, or at least, you know, align it with however you're going to do it. Um, and then you want to measure 13 inches up from the peak of the hood to the bottom of this, and then, you know, measure again, mock this up, and start cutting. See from behind me, I have pretty much taped majority of the hood. I missed a spot here and right here because I ran out of masking tape. Um, so I gotta be a little bit careful. I basically wanted to cover the entire hood because talking to a friend of mine, he he's already done this and he spoke about the fact that um, this fabric glass gets everywhere and it embeds itself in the clear coat of the paint. This clear coat is already pretty banged up. I don't wanna add misery to it. Uh, so at least most of it is covered. We're gonna start setting up the uh, Dremel and uh, get some gloves, get a long sleeve shirt and start cutting. Go ahead and uh, play doctor and operate on the hood. There is no turning back from this, so I really hope I don't have it up. Let's go. All right, so as we can see, the hood is cut. Um, I don't know if I made the holes too big or what. They slid in without a problem. So now we're going to drill the pilot holes so we can use a rivet gun to kind of rivet it shut and properly align it. So that's what's gonna kind of determine if it's straight or not, basically. So this is arguably just as scary as uh, cutting this hood in the pieces. The hood cutting was actually quite easy. The Dremel that I used, um got hot a couple times and would turn off but you'd give it about five ten seconds and it would power right back up and continue cutting through it um and i basically kept it at speed two or three didn't really go any faster than that arguably if i would have went faster probably wouldn't have gotten as hot but i was scared to commit to cutting it too fast so um let's try to get this riveted on um and finish this job So there you have it. The hood vents have been installed. There's no test drive here or anything like that. This is not really gonna show its benefit until we get it out on track, which is coming April 21st at the Motor Enclave in Tampa. It's a smaller track, a private track, a little bit more expensive, a bit more exclusive. Um, Garmin doesn't even have data for it just yet. So we'll build the track while we're out there and have some fun. It'll be a good time to test the 50 weight, the new radiator plus now the new hood vents i will say it's a very taxing and anxiety driven install but overall it's relatively straightforward as long as you measure twice cut once if you haven't yet make sure you like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one peace